The latest run of Rivet Counter InScale Union Pacific GTEL 8500 horsepower Big Blow Turbines are in stock now at Scaletrains.com. These are the hallmarks of the Union Pacific Railroad's unique turbine program of the 1950s and 60s. Often called Big Blows because of their deafening noise, they roamed the less populated landscape between Council Bluffs, Iowa and Ogden, Utah. 33 unit sets were built between 1958 and 1961 and all were retired by the early 1970s. This run includes new road numbers and variations for the first time in N scale, like GTEL number 6, which includes dual Dyna vanes on the B unit. The unique rooftop design was implemented to prevent the constant maintenance of the locomotive's air intake systems. UP continually experimented with their Big Blow B units to increase their efficiency and performance. Let's take a closer look at the unique features of each road number in this run. Number one was Union Pacific's very first Big Blow turbine and doesn't have Union Pacific lettering on the nose. It operated with the FEFs, Challengers, and Big Boy steam locomotives. Number 10 has a new detail combination on the A unit. There's a shutter system on the radiator of the A unit and the horn is still on the cab. It's also equipped with an original fuel tank. Number 16 has an extended fuel tank retrofit. The A control unit has an HI dynamic brake housing configuration and the B unit has an II dynamic brake housing configuration. Number 18, of course, is the Illinois Railway Museum edition, as well as number 26 being the Utah State Railroad Museum version. Number 30, of course, was the last Big Blow turbine and features a unique air intake system on the B unit. Number 30 was the only unit to receive this configuration. Our rivet counter models feature LED lighting features like a headlight, lit number boards, a backup light on the B unit, and of course, a headlight on the tender for those long shove moves in the yard. DCC and sound equipped locomotives feature ESU's Loke Sound 5 decoder with the full throttle feature. Let's hear from Mike Hopkin, Vice President of Product Development at Scale Trains, to learn more about the sound features of the N Scale Rivet Counter Big Blow Turbine. Hi guys, this is Mike again. We've had a lot of people asking about sound quality, sound volume, and we thought we'd give you a listen today. Take a listen to the A unit, and we'll kind of walk you through some of the sounds. So that's the diesel prime mover sound that's in the A unit. Keep in mind that both the A unit and the B unit have their own independent sound system, their own separate speakers and decoders, so it's essentially two locomotives. So both each unit has its own sound independent from the other piece. The A unit's going to have the diesel prime mover sound, compressors, other uh, automatic sounds that will just happen randomly, and then there's also some user controllable sounds like the bell. and the horn. And there you can hear the compressor cycling. Now let's take a listen to the B unit. I'll go ahead and fire the turbine up, let it run for a second or two, and then we'll shut it back down and then we can kind of talk about it. Sounds in both the A and the, and the B unit 
crisp, clean, uh, very impressive for the size of the speaker that we had to work with and the space limitations that we've got in N-Scale. But we really think that the quality of the model, the quality of the sound is going to be what you what you would come to expect from our products. We think that uh, as a, an N-Scale turbine owner, you're going to be real happy with the product. As the epitome of high horsepower locomotive technology, Union Pacific's GTEL 8500 horsepower Big Blow Turbine is one of the most iconic locomotives of the 1950s and 60s. Order your favorite road numbers today from scaletrains.com. Thanks for watching.